It's hard to imagine that someday traveling to and from the mountains could take just minutes. That's the promise of the Hyperloop, the ultra high speed train technology that's been generating plenty of hype for years now. But will it ever be a reality? Denver 7's Nicole Brady is at a conference today where experts from around the world are talking about just that, Nicole. Well, pretty much everyone attending the Global Hyperloop Conference here at the Colorado School of Mines today believes that, yes, it can happen. It will happen. Hyperloop is going to happen. The technology is already progressing, but there are still a lot of other obstacles to overcome. Uh, this morning, for example, we heard from a former U.S. Department of Transportation official who talked about the government inertia that can be a barrier. We also heard from the founder of Transpod, one of the companies currently developing tube transportation technology. Technology. He says public perception is actually an issue that we still need to overcome. Uh, one thing everyone seems to agree on is the need for high-speed, environmentally friendly transit as the world population grows. We will not be able to connect people and places with our current modes of transportation alone. We're going to need all sorts of modes of transportation. So the Hyperloop is not meant to displace any of our existing modes of travel but provide a fifth new mode of transportation that will make things a lot easier. And even today, as we drove from DIA out here to Golden for this conference, I was wishing we had a Hyperloop system that could get us here a lot faster. But CDOT, who I spoke with, they're actually in a panel right now. They say right now they're really focused on the things that will help our lives and be relevant to our lives right now in Colorado. So uh, fixing the roads, spending millions of dollars, not billions of dollars, to fix some of our current traffic problems. Of course, it's nice to come to a conference like this and see this meeting of the minds and continue to dream that someday uh, those traffic woes will be behind us. We're live in Golden today. Nicole Brady, Denver 7.